What is an addiction people might not realize they have? Shopping is a big one. Misery. Drama. The spikes become normal to the brain so those in toxic relationships for example, crave those dysfunctional patterns. They crave the rush of the fights and the drama. They pull it from around them without even noticing it. Misery loves company is not just a saying. It's science. Doom scrolling. Anger. I think addiction to anger is the primary force being weaponized against our entire culture right now. Stress. I'm convinced some people create stress in their life BC, they are addicted to it. Validation. Phone addiction. Food. People often eat far more often than necessary. They eat out of habit and not out of necessity. Sugar addiction. Procrastination. It's so much easier to say fuck it, I'll do it tomorrow. And then tomorrow comes and you still don't do it. Such a terrible habit. Addiction to other people's lives. We're constantly flooded with media on people we don't even know never met. Yet, we invest so much time interacting with them and having a false sense of reality, seeing only what they show. Humans are so much more complex than the image that's presented to us online. We should look around our own reality before trying to make sense of a stranger's. For example, people who watch certain news shows and or who doom scroll excessively. Validation sympathy example, people who get caught in a victim loop. Caffeine and sugar are two big ones. Mostly caffeine though. Millions of people in the US depend on coffee throughout their day. Instant gratification. Soda. Daydreaming I do it constantly and can't stop. It literally takes up hours out of my day. Social media. Hitting the snooze button too many times. Complaining. Guilty your honor. Lock me up. I dabbled it in once or twice and before I knew what happened, I found myself as an adult, with a career, responsibilities, and all sorts of adulting happening. Ever since I've been roiled in addiction. I can't stop. A life sentence seems warranted. I'm not even sorry. Green, you can say you smoke medicinally, but if anyone can't remember the last time they've seen you sober, either you've got a bigger problem than you think you're treating, or you're hiding from something you desperately need to face. Alcohol. Many people are alcoholics and won't realize. Just because you don't get drunk every day doesn't mean you're not an alcoholic. Porn. Giving unsolicited advice. Reddit ha ha. Workout addiction. Addiction to marijuana. The stoners have convinced everyone it's non-addictive because there is no chemical dependency, but I know plenty of people who are high basically 24-7 for months on end well into their late 20s and that's not just enjoying getting high. That's an addiction. Addiction to a person or a toxic relationship. Noise. Attention. Drama and or self-sabotage addiction. Stress. Seriously sometimes it's hard to be productive when I'm not under stressful conditions. IDK how to fix it. Weed. Porn. When serotonin is that quick and easy, it cheapens the value, and it rebounds into a sort of depression where things you used to find interesting or fun that made you happy no longer do. Gaming. Porn. Benzodiazens. It's so easy to tell yourself that they are fine and safe because a doctor prescribed them. But no, no they are not. Water. We all got to drink it every day or withdrawals ensue. Insanity. Content movies, TV shows, books, social media. Gaming, particularly MMOs. Work. Food. Religion. 
when they start justifying their actions because of religion. Comfort. So many of us are addicted to be in a comfortable place rather than growing and getting out of our comfort zone. Video games. Porn. Weed. IDC if it itself doesn't have any addictive properties. If you can't go a day without smoking hitting a dab pen, then you're addicted, full stop. Alcoholism. Read up on what a healthy recommended amount of alcohol is. Then keep in mind that number was after the lobbying by the alcohol industry. Addiction to a partner. Porn. Porn addiction. Porn. Porn. Their phones. That digital wellness check at the end of the week hurts. Destination addiction is used to describe the belief that happiness is in the destination, or can be found somewhere else rather than in the present. In fact, our destination addiction often begins earlier in life than we realize. Baldur's Gate 3 Sugar Porn 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 and masturbation, especially for men. It is not a thing anyone should do once or multiple times a day. It just ends up wrapping your brain in happy hormones and chemicals that makes you keep doing it over, and over, and over. It gets to a point, where your body gets too used to it and demands more, and more. Worst part? A lot of people make fun of this or downplay it. Some don't even believe it is an actual thing. Coffee Vanity addiction since I haven't found it yet video games, some people are so into video games it's the only thing they can ever talk about. Alcohol. I've known many people who don't realize that they're an alcoholic, but they can't even go a day without drinking or if they do they become incredibly irritable which won't be remedied until they get a drink, and when someone mentions this they will make a joke of it. I also find that women that are like this will have a lot of alcohol-related memorabilia like a shirt that says wine mom or don't talk to me before I've had my wine. This stupid website. Gaming, particularly MMOs. Stress. Many people are addicted to stress. God and finding the perfect bliss. Porn addiction. I mean, that's basically all addictions isn't it? Addicts don't generally admit they have an issue, 